Hello everybody and welcome once again to Galactic Science 2. In this episode I would like to go and make a spawner controller from Quarry Plus. Now let's have a look at what we have to do for that. So let's go back and get the recipe out for the spawner controller. Oh by the way I got some more Enderman heads so I went. Did some more eggs, put some eggs in the on the ground by the bedrock and used the sword of Waven and it actually did quite a good job. Got me two heads almost straight away. So I was going to put these back and I don't have any space. I went to the other um, uh, dungeon and cleaned that out. I got some more iridium shards. I don't want two of these. And I got some ender lily seeds. Now, about that, first time I've seen some of those in this game. Ender lily seeds are pretty good. I'll have to put them in there for the time being. And I forget where they are, of course. For making ender, uh, for ender pearls, but we don't have any farming automation, so that's a bit of tricky. So let's get on and do what we want to do. So I want to look for the recipe for spawner controller. This one, the spawner controller. So we need all of these things in, um, uh, in the workbench plus, and they're not too difficult. Most of them. But there's one or two which are tricky, gas tier, and bones. I've been playing around to see if I could figure out how to get that. Anyway, at the moment, let's get what we actually need and put it straight away into this thing here. So, two, yep, I got some bones. I got two nether stars, what else do we need? I've written it down so I can see. 40 rotting flesh, let's get that out of there. Rotten flesh, we need 40 of those. So that's basically half a stack plus eight I could take no stack from there four and then bah, 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 that'll give me 40 we need 40 arrows so that's no big deal let's take a stack I'll split that into that'd be 48 let's split it into eight get rid of three that'll give me 40 again let's put those into the quarry plus while I'm thinking about it 40 rotting flesh, 40 arrows, 40 bones, we've got 32, we haven't got enough yet. Gunpowder 40, that won't be difficult. So I take a stack of that and split it into 8 again. Get rid of 3. Put the others into here, I've given the 8, 40, what else do we need? 80 iron so that is basically uh, two stacks of iron and we do the same thing with this one oops come too far 40 so if we take away six of these that should be 80 There we go. We need 40 gold. Ingots, that is, of course. Now let's take this slot over here like that. And again, let's get rid of three, because five eights are 40. We, we need 10 gas tears, 20 magna. Um, creams that's fairly straight I think that should be fairly straightforward let's have a look so that's a magna cream is a blaze powder and a is it blaze powder magna cream I'm not sure oh and a slime ball you've got 52 slime balls that's going to be a bit more difficult to split into yeah perfect that's the 40 slime balls plus um, we need blaze powders don't we I'll give some self-crafting for that, to be honest with you, it would be easiest than trying to do it any other way. And that'll give us 40 magna creams. Oh, have I read this right? Can't read my writing. I think it's 28 blaze rods. We should have plenty of those around. 
fourteen. Twenty eight is yeah, thirty two plus four, isn't it? Twenty eight minus five. I think that's the number. I'm have to double check it in a minute. Put the rest of these back. Now, what's next on the list? Twenty carrots and twenty potatoes. I think. No shortage of carrots and potatoes. No shortage of potatoes. 20, so if we put them to 3, yep. Yeah. I'll do the same with this one. Push those back. That'll be those two. So all we need now is some more bones. We need eight more bones. And we need some uh, gas tears. Actually, the gas tears are going to be the hard one. So let's see if we can actually get that prepared. Now, I'm going to use, if I didn't show you before I finish this off, I thought there's no point in doing it on camera, just uh, basically putting blocks down. And I've got some stuff in here prepared. Now calcium is 20. And calcium's the main component that we need for, hydro, uh, for um, bones. So what we have to do is we make calcium by taking oxygen and helium. Helium's just two hydrogen. And that will give me that's eight plus two is ten. Multiply by two is twenty. So let's put those to there. We can actually do it probably like this. So that produces neon. And what I've done here is a bit of all bit of simplification. Here I've got a, uh, a redstone lamp. We're getting plenty of those from somehow or other. Turn it on, and then that activates this. And so we should be getting some ne neon into here. It should be. Oh, yeah, it's gone. Let's do that again. And you should see the neon coming in here like that. So two of these will make... Oh, that's hydrogen, helium, sorry. Neon, I want two neon. I think I've got two neon. Let's just double check it. 64, 64. Yeah. Now these two, of course, will make calcium. Like that. So we've got 64 calcium coming and I had some already in here because I was testing it out before. Now, next thing, let's have a look at gas tears. Actually, that's good. I will actually keep that until we've actually bought it, until we've actually built it. Is it controller? Like, oops, control C. Nope, controller, yeah. There we go. Now we can mine camp these. So we need four, and now I don't know how to pronounce this, itabium, I guess. Itabium, not sure which. Four of those and four uh, nobelium. Now this one is, both of them are, actually this one's stable. This is 70. Now 70 is dead easy. So we need four of these. We need, so basically we need 40 of these. Is that right? Because we need 10 gas tiers. In fact, I'm going to make 11 gas tiers. Because I want to do one for the something else. So that is then basically tin. Oh, tin. Silicon tin. I want tin, not silicon. Where does that come from? Let's get rid of that. Let's go and get some tin and put the silicon away. some stacks of tin five will do I think now tin as I was told by Wilfen has got a, a number of um, 50 so if I put this in here we wanted what do we want 11 does that say 44 okay so let's just split that into three put one on there put that on there plus another one because there's a 44 so we've got 44 of those plus calcium, which is 20, should give us this YB1. 
forty four Yeti boom. I'm going to turn this off now because we're going to go to the radioactive stuff. So we only off when we got radioactive stuff in here. So let's have a look. Let's set this one up. Let's remove this book in here. So and this one of course. So now the gas tier, if I remember rightly, let's have a look. So it's one, two, three, four like that. Okay. So it's Okay, now we need to do the same. I'm going to take this calcium out of here because we've got some in there. We're going to do the same for um, this nobilium or nobilium. Now that's 102. Now 102 is fairly straightforward. That's basically I've got tin, yes, plus one helium. So we need 44 of these. So let's just take out of this 44. That's 60, split that into three. Put those two, three together, that'll do. Put that up there, like that. Sort this out, in fact. So we need tin plus this. So we need two sets of tin. That's turned off, good. So we need, oh, I'll have to remove this calcium as well. Don't need that anymore. So tin plus Oh, I need 44, so I better remove this. Well, that was a bit close, actually. Uh, it's not too bad. Like that. And the same on the other side. Actually, we don't need to worry about the other side. We could do this like this. So this produces this ferrium, which has got 11 hours, so it's not too bad. Which is actually 100. So now we can put that with this helium here, and that'll give us our 102, which is our nobilium, which is got a lifespan of five hours so that's fine too so we've got plenty of time to do this no stress so we come into here and then we put it in here so if i remember rightly it was one two i think it was like this no nope, it's not like this let me just check what the recipe is that's oh, two there okay remove that one and there we go that'll give us 11 gas tears and that's actually gone it's not actually there anymore we can just click it so now we're going to take this gas tin we're going to put that in the book first thing first now i've got a book here with another star and i'm actually going to use i'll put it in here to start with so we've got it recorded there and i'm going to take this out of here like this and i'm going to put in this one I'm going to put it I'm going to put it in another star recipe because it's in the same basically the same machine we do it and we're only doing ad hoc so it's not a big deal that's emerald so that's our gas tiers done so I'll put those into here ten of them like that so all we now need is 40 bones let's double check the this thing I've got everything correct Oh, it's only two potatoes and two carrots. Okay, 28 blaze rods was correct. Okay, so we need 40. All we're needing is 40 um, bones, I think. Yeah. So we need another 15. Right. Bones, oddly enough, are actually not too difficult to do. What I'm going to do with this... So look. Awkward potion. I think the one I needed for this... In fact, what you can now do... You've got this. Oh, yes, that's what I set up in here. Let's go back over here. You can actually make the quantum, qu uh, the quantum plus. The QED, sorry. I'm not sure if there's a recipe for it. Let's have a look. There's no recipe for it. But you can make it. And the way you make it, strangely enough, is with the iridium. So if we look for iridium, we've got plenty because of the stuff that we've been getting, this stuff here. If we look for the uses of that, we can make ingots. And from the ingots, the uses of that, we can make, I think it's plates, iridium plates in the metal former. And the uses of the metal plates is, if I can find it, maybe I have to use the other one. Let's go shape crafting. All bound. I saw it the other day. Hmm. 
Mm -hmm. I have forgotten where I saw it, to be honest. Is there another iridium plate? Reinforced iridium plates. Here we go. The assembly table. You can see you can make it in the assembly table with 64 reinforced iridium plates, which are basically made like this. Very, very expensive, which is basically four iridium ingots per one of these. One of those makes one plate. So you need a lot of iridium, but you can do it. So I don't feel so guilty about using that anymore. So there you are. It doesn't show up in the recipes, but it is there. Um, and if I remember, remember lightly, what I was wanting to do was to make a magnum torch. If you watched earlier episodes on this thing, that is. And yeah, it's basically a potion of regeneration. I think the one uh, I was missing, that one, which is a gas tear and awkward potion. So let's go and put my gas tear in here. They've already got the awkward potion, no effects. Let's put the gas tear in there, leave it, and that'll come back and make some potion of regeneration. Wow. So the next thing is bones. Let's go downstairs again. We need some bones. So basically, bones is dead easy. It's calcium plus hydrogen and oxygen. And I've actually got it in this book here. So we right click this. To make a this one, to make a bone, you need this. Hydro Hydrox <laughs> appetite, I think. Hydroxyl appetite. And this one is basically calcium which we've got plenty of phosphate which we've got stacks of we can craft it or oh, and oxygen and hydrogen which we've got so much i'm throwing it away in fact you have to throw it away because if you don't your system looks blocked so let's have a look hydrogen let's take a stack of that oxygen let's take a stack of that they're all maintaining around about six hundred and forty thousand phosphate this one now we need about 15 bits I'll make a stack of this because it's not going to do any harm because the calcium carbonate is something else which is we need tons of have I got enough calcium in here probably not so calcium is made with hydrogen lots of hydrogen So I need five for each one, so that would be give me. Um, that would give me for not quite, but not quite enough yet. Let's take this with us. We've got thirty-two of those now. That's probably enough for those. So we need five per. I can't remember what the recipe is. That's a lot. Um, it's this one, isn't it? Is it one bone? I think is it one bone for this. I've forgotten what the actual is. So we need five calcium and three phosphate and one hydrogen and oxygen. So in effect, let's I might have got some more calcium in here. Let's get a lot. Sixteen. Tell you what, we'll do it anyway. We're going to the synthesizer machine, don't we? I didn't need any of those, that's fine. So now we put in this recipe in here and it's actually bone so we don't want bone we want the other one active we want this one active like that and you'll remove these because they're not required let's put that back in again because it didn't do it right oxygen so we've got oxygen and hydrogen no problem so we need some lots of calcium that won't be quite enough we need at least one more and we need some more of this phosphate so now we can take what can we take seven I think that's not enough. Let's go and make some more. You see, I can't split this up because if I did, it would give me twenty-five, and I need I need more than twenty-five. I need twenty-five plus five, and five is. Oh, maybe we can do that. Too high. No, it's easy with oxygen, isn't it? Let's do it that way. Let's make some more calcium. I've got plenty of oxygen. I've got plenty of helium. Look. One, two, one, two. Uh, 
oxygen and helium and then that we can turn this one on again of course now because we can go straight out of there and we can do the same again uh, oxygen and helium might get enough this time so we've got neon we've got 32 and 64 let's put those together now that'll give me so that's basically let's split that into two put half in there and half in there and split this into two put half in there and half in there and we should get some calcium so we should have a uh, what yeah 48 calcium that will give us a little bit more probably about 10 which will be enough what's gone through here so we've got now 17 of these so the to convert these to a bone is dead easy. You just put them in the top left hand, right hand corner in here like that. And that's it. So we've got 17 more bones. So we should have enough now to make the spawner controller. Let's have a look. Nope, I'm missing something. What am I missing? This is quite hard. Let me look at my piece of paper. Two nether stars. 40 arrows, 40 bones, 40 gunpowder, 80, 80, 20, 28, 2, 2. Hopefully it's not disabled. If it's disabled, then it's a bit sad. So we've got two of those. Let's right, do them in the same order then it might be easier 40 rotting flesh oops 40 arrows 40 bones with the other two 40 bones 40 gunpowder 80 iron 40 gold Twenty Magna Creams, ten gas tears. Two do we only want two of these? And I think we only need twenty Magna balls. Two carrots and two potatoes. Oh. Well it looks like it's disabled. Shame. Uh, let me just oh blaze rods I'm sure I see remember blaze rods let me double check oh yes 28 blaze rods maybe it's not disabled maybe it's just me being an idiot a lot of list it's quite hard sometimes yeah I'm sure we took blaze rods out of there never mind let's shift them in here I'll we'll stick a stack in it won't hurt yes there we can do let's get this thing made now we went Last time we went to the dungeons, didn't we? This is going to take a little bit of time, not too much. And we left in there some the spawners. All I did with the spawners is to put on them. I'm going to put this away as well. In fact, I'll don't do that there. I'll do it in here. Because then it's going to go through the system properly. Tin, hydrogen, phosphate, oxygen. We left those spawners. Now I went and made this one, a moving wand. Now the moving wand has got a block and I can pick up the monster spawner with this moving wand. So that's great. So we can actually put the monster spawner down as I want it to work. Now this is something I've never ever done. Oh, that's where I, ah, okay. Now I know what I did wrong. I've never done this. I've only watched it in one video. It's not that easy to find. But you basically put this down, the spawner controller. I'm not sure if it needs power. And then you put on top of it a monster spawner. And then you can configure the spawner controller to spawn anything you like. Anything. And that means the wither blocks. You can spawn blocks. So let's have a look at that. While that's cooking, let's make one more thing. I wanted to make the wireless controller, didn't I? I think I've got that with me. 
go here. Yes, I've got an ender resonator, which I made, I think we made that last time. So let's have a look at the wireless. This one, the wireless charger. So actually, I might have everything I need, which I have, fairly straightforward, just electric steel, and then ender resonator was the hard bit. So all we now need to do is put this on some power Let's put it down, say, here. And that connects up, and it's charged up. Oops. Let's have a look. So this is now charged up fully. This is now charged up fully. And this is now charged up fully. So everything got charged up just by being in the area. And always, I'm always up here anyway, so it makes a great deal of sense to put it at the top. And all my things are going to get charged up. And including, of course, all of these, they'll all be charged up now to one million. So I don't have to go around putting things in, which is always a bit of a bind, shall we say. Now, how's this finished? Not yet. But it's fairly close to finishing. Wow, this is quite a job, isn't it? But I can remove the, half of these because put those away. While we're waiting, shouldn't I want to test this? I really do. How long have we got to go before this one finishes? I don't think there's anything else. Oh, this is something else. I got this magic mirror. I'm making make a dimensional mirror from it, but I don't know what these things do, to be honest with you. I think it allows you to transport yourself back. Oh, this is new. I haven't seen this before. The electric armor plus. Oh, maybe it's not new. Maybe I don't remember seeing it before. Quarry, yep. We've done most of this stuff. That was a mover plus. Pump plus. Refinery plus. But that reminds me, I should really go enchant the refinery plus, shouldn't I? How's it doing? It's taking its time. Unless it's already done, it is already done. So here we have our spoiler controller. Now I don't know whether this thing needs power. Let's get rid of these, don't want them. Let's take it outside because we don't really want things spawning in our base if I've got it wrong. Where are we going to put it? Let's go put it over here somewhere. If I need to move it, I can move it, can't I? So that's no big deal. So let's put the spawner controller down, say here like that and on top of this we should be able to put the block there we go and then oops oops i just put that up i'll put that down again so here now we should be able to click this so we can spawn everything a small asteroid with a skeleton a horse a fireball an ender dragon maybe that's the way i have to get ender dragons an arrow i'll tell you what i was looking for a Venusian villain, a snowball, rockets, cave spiders. An experience. I wonder if we can do you your matter. A buggy, a zombie. I'm not sure what order these are in. A squid. Okay. An ocelot painting, bat, spider sheep, ball of moss. A gun skeleton. Oh my goodness, what have we got here? King Slime. A meteor. So I'm just looking down, see if we can see anything that's actually... I don't want to have planets. Chaos Guardian. don't think we want that just yet, do we? An evolved creeper. A giant. Huh. Tinker's Construct Javelin TNT An Astro Minder A Grapple Hook I'm just trying to find something there With a Skeleton Skull Sludging A Zombie Pigman A Mini Me Okay Snow Golem Some Luggage A Wolf 
I'm just trying to find something that we really actually would quite like. <laughs> and it's actually not that easy. Let's do a uh, snowball. Paris chest and arrow. Goodness gracious me, there's loads of stuff in here. Let's do a horse. Done. So now it's going to spawn a horse. And sure enough, it did spawn a horse. <laughs> and it was just got shot. <laughs> Oops. Because I put it down too near the other thing. So we have to move this stuff around. <laughs> Let's just do it like this. If we actually do want to have a horse, so we, I'm not sure that a horse is going to be much use um, here, but we never know. Oh, we got this one. Is it breakable with a pickaxe? I guess so. Yeah, fantastic. But I do want to spawn a horse, and the best place to spawn a horse would be in here, wouldn't it? It's out of range. Um, if anything else, let's turn that on. We should have plenty of oxygen now, and the bubble should start to form, as you can see. So let's put this down again. Let's put on top of it the spawner. Oops, there's a spawner here. And right click this on top of here, like that. And then another horse should spawn in a few seconds. But it would be quite good to do this with something else that's actually not living there he goes and one horse and the horse is going to survive for a bit let's turn the, oops oh goodness see that doesn't actually change once you've controlled it it's still going to spawn another horse so let's go back here and then change this to something else let's spawn a flag done so it's going to spawn a flag i don't know what it's going to do with the flag where the flag's going to go to well, let's see what happens well it's done something what's it done where did it put the flag i haven't got it on me did it get picked up by the can't do because this thing's full. So what did it do with the flag? Right, it spawned another flag. But where did it put it? Oh, right, it didn't work. I don't think this one. Let's try something else then. I don't want to do that. <laughs> We try basalt. Done. Well, actually, we'll get my sword ready in this case. So I would quite like to spawn something that's inanimate. Inanimate. So a thing and see what actually if we can actually get the thing. It's taken a long time to do this one, isn't it? Out of curiosity, what happens if I put this pick it up and put it down somewhere else? Is it still a is it still a basalt spawner? Come on, spawn. I wonder if you can speed this thing up as well. Once the spawner's got a pick in the middle of it. Well, It's taking its time. But it doesn't need any power, that's good. Something we've learned. I'm just going to see if it actually does it. I don't think it's going to do it anyway. So what I'm going to do... I'll say goodbye for now. I shall stand here like this. Maybe if this thing, if it does spawn, we'll see it. Anyway, until next time, I'm going to say bye for now.